back in 2020, it was kind of a crazy time of church life, right? Mm -hmm. We all started doing it at home and I loved it. I loved that I could incorporate, you know, the things that I love about the gospel, teach my kids. And during that time, I just, I loved not going to church mm -hmm. a little, maybe too much. And okay. I, and I grasped this relationship with Heavenly Father without the church. I didn't understand why we even needed to go back. And during that time, I just had a baby and my husband got called as the bishop and I have never been so confused in my life. And so I stopped going for a little bit. I couldn't hear the music of church anymore. And growing up in, in the church, I felt very devastated to have questions, to, you know, wonder the purpose of church. I couldn't, I, I felt like it was a social aspect and I struggled with that for a while. It was one of the most purifying experiences for myself in my own testimony to question everything I've ever believed in. And that's because I ended up turning everything off and coming back to the scriptures and God. And after turning off all the noise, I came to this realization that I go to church not for people, not because my husband's a bishop, not, you know, just to be there for the kids to go to primary. I go for him. Mm -hmm. And he has become my whole center. And through kind of this faith crisis or faith journey, whatever you want to call it, by turning to him, I feel like I'm that much stronger. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the atonement.